Hey there guys, Vindicator Jones here. Normally I don't do news items, but I felt this was important to bring up and share with you all. The latest patch for Elite Dangerous has nerfed the Dumbfire AX anti-Thargoid missiles, so they do less armor penetration against Thargoids. As you can imagine, the community, with good reason, were, well, let's say not so enthusiastic about that decision. Now apparently Frontier have addressed this issue in a community post on their website, which explains the reason for this. I put a link in the description so you can read the whole article. What it basically boils down to is that the Thargoids have adapted and have developed a resistance to the compound carried in the missile, reducing their armor penetration and damage. Also, Thargoids are now capable to lock onto ships that have developed countermeasures, making engaging them even more dangerous. And just to make things even a little more exciting, Thargoid drones have become even more accurate. It seems Frontier are really taking this Thargoid invasion to the next level. Admittedly, initially I was annoyed with the MX missile nerf, but placing it in context, it makes a lot of sense, and now I don't have so much of a problem with it. Now, I'm sure there are many commanders out there who are extremely annoyed with what Frontier have done, but story-wise, it does make a lot of sense. Thargoid ships are obviously more biologically focused, and just like anything organic, it can adapt and build resistances to anything that threatens it. Just as humans' immune system can fight off an infection, a Thargoid can do something similar against the materials used in the EX missiles to cause damage. And of course, Thargoids are obviously highly intelligent and will develop their own technologies and tactics to offset anything the human race can throw at them. Well, for now anyway. The biggest problem, and this has nothing to do with the Thargoids themselves, is how Frontier are presenting the story. I had no idea about the Galactic News article until a moderator on the forums, Dusty Ahn, posted the link. And this is where Frontier could potentially shoot themselves in the foot. We need a far more engaging way to interact with the story than just through articles posted on an external website or trying to scroll through Galnet. In a previous video, I have discussed having a news channel that can pop up on your HUD that displays news items like a TV show. That way people in Super Cruise can easily interact with news items in an engaging and interesting format while flying around doing other things. Most people I know do not interact with Galnet, and that's mainly because of the giant wall of text which sometimes is very hard to read through, can be extremely boring, and makes it extremely easy to miss important news items. And that's where a lot of important information like the current nerf to AX missiles gets lost. People get annoyed not understanding why Frontier have done this and then find another reason to be negative about the game. And it's sad really because if the story was more interactive, more accessible in an interesting medium, then I think more people would engage the game in a far more positive way. I really think Frontier needs to find another way to engage the community with the story elements in Elite Dangerous and move away from static blocks of text. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The more support I can get from you guys means more time I can take away from my day-to-day -day work and direct it towards making more content. If you can't, then supporting me by liking the video and subscribing would also be fantastic. Also, don't forget to add me on Twitter to keep up to date with what I'm doing and other silly shenanigans. This is Vindicator Jones signing off. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you out there in the big black.